So cultural competency, as we've come to, to know about it and talk about it, is composed of three main components, including awareness, which includes awareness of, of ourselves and awareness of others, knowledge, and skills. So self-awareness is the ability to objectively think about ourselves. So to take a step back and mindfully observe what it is that we notice about the way that we are in the world and how we see the world around us. It involves adopting a very curious mind into these things and, and kind of allowing what shows up. It's having the ability to understand your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions in all sorts of situations because, because those change depending on where you are. And it's also encompassing so many things. So identifying what it is that we believe about the world, what do we believe to be good or bad, right and wrong, what's important, um, our worldview. So what do we see when we look out into the world? How do we perceive what happens, um, our relationships with others, our perspectives, what it is that we value in situations in our lives. Um, in our relationships, and then of course our, our biases. So what makes the way that you see the world different from others? What biases do you hold, um, positive, negative, neutral, that influence your behaviors, um, your perceptions as well? So I actually want to invite you all to pause right now and take a moment to reflect with me. When I ask you, what is your culture, what comes to mind? If you take a look at, at these different aspects, these different components of culture, here on the right-hand side, there's things like community, knowledge, stories, language, traditions, tools, objects, arts, food, of course, and values. Take a second and reflect on, on what comes to mind when you think of these categories, what represents you. Maybe some of these categories stick out more than others as being important to you. Maybe some of them less important. And maybe some of them it's hard to identify. Some of us might also identify with multiple cultures and maybe we identify more with one than another. Maybe we're still developing in our cultural identities. Consider what comes to mind when you think about these concepts, these questions, and what else you want to, to know and develop with your cultural identity and your self-awareness. And now I invite you to consider how, how this culture, the way that you grew up, the messages you got from family, from those who share culture with you, how does this impact your attitude? How does this impact your beliefs? And has this created bias in your views of people who are of a different culture than you? Something we ask when we do cultural competency, such as with this course, is what comes to mind when you think of, of other cultures? What comes to mind when you th think of Native Americans? What images pop up? What words pop up? And really practicing noticing what that is. So the second component is knowledge. And this is all about what is, what is the content that you know about your own culture, especially about other cultures. There's always, always, always more to be learned. Um, we introduce people to a lot of facts about Native American culture. Um, I've, listed, I've listed some of them here um, and I invite you to read over them. But something that we have to introduce to people is that the fact that there are so many different um, Native American tribes here in this country, so over 570 federal federally recognized ones, um, and there's a lot of variation even in those cultures there. Um, 
a lot of variation and similarities too across cultures, both in the United States and the indigenous, excuse me, indigenous cultures across the world too. And finally, skills. So what do you do with all of this information, all of this self-awareness, all of this knowledge? Right, you gotta, you gotta do something with it for it to, to be impactful with the way that you interact with other people. Um, and this encompasses so many things. So it could be first starting off by increasing the interactions that you have with people of a different culture than you. Of course, showing empathy, navigating differences in communication. Some cultures speak in a very direct fashion, some very indirect, and a lot of them along that spectrum. It involves taking and practicing significant perspective taking, which is, can be incredibly difficult to do and hard to do, but practicing what does it mean to value something else? What does it mean to have a different worldview in this situation? And it takes a willingness to be wrong and to make mistakes and to own up to those mistakes when they're made and a continuous ability, a continuous commitment to always be checking for those biases.